I want to show you how to take a screenshot of some of your favorite apps and turn it into your own app with your own customization without ever looking at a line of code. Okay, let's start with this example here. This is called Microsoft To Do, and I'll show you three examples in this video. Microsoft To Do is a to-do list app that I've been using for many years, but I want to actually customize it a little bit more. There are a few things that I just don't like about it that I just want to enhance. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to take a screenshot, Command Shift 4 on my Mac, and we got a screenshot from it. Okay, for this one, we're gonna use Claude.ai and we're gonna use Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now I have the paid version that's gonna give me just more back and forth with Claude, more usage, but I do need to use 3.5 Sonnet here. The other models are just not gonna do as good of a job. And right over here, I just need to upload that screenshot I took. So I'm gonna click add content. Here's a super simple prompt, turn this into a functioning app and send this out. Now it's gonna write the code. We don't have to even look at the code. We don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna see a visual display of what this turns into. And there it is. This is a preview of that code. So if you don't get a preview, there is something in the settings menu on the bottom corner called artifact, which is gonna give you a preview like this. I've covered it in different videos. And then I could see if everything is functioning properly. Right now, there is a little bit of an issue. Let me just make sure I could check these things off. Maybe I wanna cross this out because the screenshot doesn't know all the functionality of the to-do list app. It just kind of creates what it saw on that screenshot. So I had a few back and forth revisions, which on the left side, you just have to explain it just using plain English. Hey, when someone clicks this box, make sure this gets crossed off or when someone changes these categories here, make sure it starts a fresh list of to-dos. And once you get it to work with a few back and forth prompts, you just have to press publish right over here and just press publish and copy. And this is gonna create a URL that you could share with anyone or keep it to yourself. Let me show you an actual working to-do list app that I made with about five different prompts to revise a few things. And here it is on this domain name that I could share with anyone. And it's working exactly like I want. So when someone checks something off here as the to-do list, it will go ahead and cross it off. They could press X to remove it entirely right over here. You could actually select any one of these and assign a to-do here or a to-do date here. You could go ahead and repeat it, which I added with one prompt because the screenshot didn't have this functionality built out like this. And it's perfect. I could go ahead and add a new task over here and press enter. It's gonna add it over here. I could check it off, assign a date. I'm just missing one functionality here, which there's no adding folder option. So I could add folders. And within that, it's gonna have different to-do lists over here. But now I could customize it any which way. I could add more functionality. Obviously, if I use a product, off-the-shelf product from another company, I don't have this kind of control. And then I could share this with my team this could be our shared to-do list app that is fully customized. Now, let me show you a couple more examples. Then I'll show you a tool that lets you actually take that code and publish it to your own domain. If you wanna test out a brand new idea you have, now you could do it with Claude and publish it on a custom domain, not just this Claude URL. This is great for your internal tool, something personally that you're using for your team. Okay, let me now show you this option. This is just a new redesigned website that we created. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot. Let me shrink down this website a bit right over here. This is just our website, skillleap.ai. And I'm gonna go ahead and shrink it down this much. And I'm gonna take a screenshot all the way from the top, all the way to over here. And then if I wanted to, I could take a second screenshot of kind of the rest of this website. Now I'm gonna say, turn this into code for my website. I took a screenshot of my own website because sometimes it's gonna have copyright limitations. It's gonna tell you you can't do that because it's not your own website. But in this case it was. And after a couple of prompts to go back and forth to get what I want, this is what I got. It has a top menu here. It has the same type of button style. It doesn't have the images because I actually have to upload those to some kind of a server. So I could then use the link and put those in the code. And here it is in a brand new window. It looks excellent. It copied most of the colors. Obviously some of the functionality on my own website are much more advanced and it just can't do that. But for the most part, if this was just a static website without the animations, it looks pretty great. So here's a screenshot I found online, and this is gonna be great for people like me with subscription type businesses, with SaaS 
type businesses, I need a dashboard and I just need to give it this screenshot and any customer and user data I have. I typically remove the names and the emails so there's no sensitive kind of content that is getting uploaded just for security reasons, I'm sure. It's fine with a paid version of Claude, but just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and upload that again as usual. And you would also upload any kind of data you have. You usually upload it as CSV. So you have it as Excel file, just save as CSV and upload that and say create an interactive dashboard using this design with my own data. Now I publish this to a link and look how nice this looks and it's completely interactive over here. And it looks like some things are not quite getting updated down here. So I'm gonna need to go a couple of times back and forth. This is just the very first one that he gave me. You could also just sketch it out if you wanna use like Figma or some other app to kind of sketch out your idea, use different shapes and different tools like that, and then give it that screenshot. You could totally do that and it'll turn it to a function in the app. And once this is good to go, I could share this with my team to show them what's going on this month or this year with our business using a much better format than what an Excel sheet would give them. And I'll quickly show you a more advanced tool. This is really designed for developers, but if you're a non-developer, you could still talk to Claude and he showed me the steps on how to deploy or basically publish this on my own domain. So if I wanted to use this as a way to see if customers like it and make it more customer facing, you would have to take the code and publish it on your own website, not just a cloud website. And this is a place where you could do that. This is called Replet at replet.com. You could go ahead and create a Replet. It's gonna be a React. So React is just basically a JavaScript based library. So again, you don't have to worry about this type JavaScript is a very common coding language and you could go ahead and create it from here. That brings you to a page that looks like this and all you have to do, and Claude tells you how to do this. Just say, I wanna deploy this website on Replit. Give me the step-by-step -step guide. And this kind of looks like Claude. So the code is on the left side, the preview of what that code looks like, kind of like what the artifact looks like is over here. So this right now is gonna have the same kind of functionality as we had before, but sometimes I notice Artifact does a better job than this code if you copy and paste it. And it looks like I got a bunch of errors over here, but what's nice about Claude, you could just not even know what these mean. Copy and paste it, say I got this error, fix it. But a little bit back and forth, I'm not trying to publish this on a website and it will take a little bit more patience for me to get it there. But that's basically what it takes to do it. And they have, if you press deploy right on top, Deploy just means publish basically. And then you could choose different ways to publish it. So auto scale is really nice. Meet exact demand. So this scales up as you get more users in. Static doesn't do that. So you have some few options over here. And if you wanna add your own domain, right now I haven't paid for this replet to get it to this point. But if you do wanna deploy it, you do have to upgrade your plan. But it's worth testing if you're not a developer. I usually would even recommend hiring a developer just for the step if you're going public just to make sure everything is set up, but it's far, far easier than it was just months ago with the release of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I'm sure every model is just gonna be even better and better. Right now it takes a little bit of patience. It takes a few different prompts to fix some of the issues and functionalities, but just the fact that you could basically build custom tools for yourself or for your team, even if you're not going the public route, that's just insane. I used to spend a lot of money hire developers on platforms like Upwork and get them to build me little tools to make me more productive. Now I could do a lot of that myself and customize it as much as I want to and then just get the developers to do the things that I'm just not gonna be capable of doing. Now I also made another video comparing the latest version of ChatGPT to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, the latest version, I'll link that here. And that shows you a ton of different practical use cases. I hope you found this one useful. I'll see you next time.